hello everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question chaya calendar so the question states that the chaya tribe believes that there are n signs of the apocalypse over time it has been found that the ith sign occurs every ai years in years ai 2 into ai 3 into ai and so on according to the legends for the eclipse to happen the sign must occur sequentially that is first they wait for first sign to occur then strictly after that second sign will occur and so on if ith sign occurred in year x the tribe starts waiting for the occurrence of the i plus 1th sign starting from the year x plus 1 in which year the nth sign will occur and the apocalypse will happen so we have t the number of test cases n the number of signs and a1 to an the periodicities of the sign so for each test case we need to output the year in which all n signs will occur so first let's understand the question through one of the examples so in case of this test case you see that the first sign will occur in third year so why i am taking third year as the first input is 3 then next is second year but already second year is covered in third year so for second year the next can be 2 into means multiple of 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 and 4 is greater than 3 so it can happen in fourth year now after in fourth year another sign is done we move to the next one which is four so fourth year is already done so we calculate the next so for four you will do four into two four into two is eight so it gives us eighth year now in case of 5, 5 is also already covered so it will give us 10th year. Now moving to 9, 9 is also covered, it will give us 18th year. And as 18th year is already covered and we again go to 18, so we will do 18 multiply by 2 it will move to 36 so the end will be 36 year and this is the output now in case of 1 2 3 4 5 you take first year after that second year third year fourth year and fifth year as none of the years are already covered so it will go straight up to fifth year and our output is five so we got one thing if the array is sorted the answer is the last element itself now let's move to another test case i go to one first year now here my first year is already covered so here i will go to second year here also my first year is already covered so i go to third year here fourth year and for the last one fifth year so hence i got output as five so like this we will iterate now for 50 it is 50th year 30 is already covered in 50 so it can go to 60th year then 711th year is not covered so we can go there for 200 now as you see 
the year 200 is already covered as till 711 we have covered it and now if we multiply it by 2 it will be 400 which is also already covered if we multiply it by 2 again so goes to 800 tier now 503 we will multiply by 503 by 2 as it is also covered 503 into 2 which will give us 1006 so now this year is already covered so we multiply it by 2 which gives us 2012 so this is our output now i hope you all got the intuition of this what we are doing so basically what our idea is as you have ai so we can have the sign occur in 2 into ai or 3 into ai like that like multiples of that number so we are checking that and which multiple is closest to the previous one we will go to that multiple so to do this you can simply have suppose you have ai stored in a variable called a so your a can be updated by a divided by vi v is our array plus 1 this whole into vi so what it, this will do this will give us the closest multiple of the previous element so if I take 3 here and vi is 2, so 3 divided by 2 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4. So it gives us the next closest element which is 4. So like this you can go in case our vi is not greater than a. If vi is greater than a then you will update a as vi. And at last, we will return A. So, A is our final answer. Now, let's look at the code for this. So, here is the code for the same. First, we take N, which is our input, and V, the list input. And then we assign answer as V of 0, which I was taking as A. It is now declared as answer here so for i in range 1 to n if our vi is greater than answer you put answer equal to vi else answer will be answer divided by vi plus 1 into vi and we will print our answer at last so this is the whole procedure which i explained there itself so you can dry run this code and check i hope you all understand this solution thanks for watching